What a difference a year makes. A year with Golden Knights hockey. In 2018, we met Ozzy. Shy, quiet, and autistic. His struggle, a struggle for the whole Patton family. I think for me, the hardest thing to accept is that he just doesn't connect the way other people do. Then he found hockey and a connection. Um, hockey's really just changed my life, my personality of how I am. It started at the very first game he attended. When I went to there, I said, that's cool, that's amazing. You're doing so good. His passion grew and he took to the ice himself. I mean, there. I've never really thought I was gonna be that good. Ozzy is that good. He found his niche in the net. Well, you guys interviewed me the last time I was just for skating. Now he's not only skating, he's protecting the net and thriving in a whole new world of opportunity. To say that hockey's taken over is a bit of an understatement. Instead of cars in the garage, there's synthetic ice, so Ozzy can get his hockey on anytime. Brittany Brooks there you go. is Ozzy's private goalie coach. Gloves up. For two years, she worked with autistic children as a behavior therapist. Then she found Spectrum on Ice, which is how she met the Patton family. I think that there's a big misconception out there that people with autism or kids with autism don't want to connect. I think that it's more they do, they just don't know how. In a way, she says Ozzy's autism might be helping his hockey game. Slowly he's gotten better and better and I think he's improved a lot faster than most kids his age because he's so focused. And playing goalie. I think hockey, especially playing goalie, you're kind of behind a mask keeps him comfortable. And maybe at first he might have been a little overwhelmed around other kids, but more and more when he's making those saves, his teammates are gonna come over and congratulate him, and he's gonna really feel part of something, but he still gets to have his own space and do it at his own pace. I love the ice time, I love playing hockey, but a lot of it is music too. I like listening to music. I like playing hockey with music. <laughs> This is video his dad recorded at his first concert this summer, watching his favorite band, AJR. He has really come out of his shell a lot. He's talking to people. He's initiating conversations, which really never happened before. Mom Jackie says the biggest surprise he delivered was joining his school's speech and debate club. And I said, this is speech and debate. Do you know what that is? And he's like, yeah, it's like when you talk in front of people and I, literally laughed out loud because I thought he was joking with me. <laughs> she attributes that to hockey too. Honestly, I think it goes back to hockey because he told me that during the games, when he's playing goalie, he commentates the game. You can just see his lips moving behind the goalie mask if you look closely. All right, I could totally see him being like a sports broadcaster maybe someday. The sport has grown his imagination and coordination to the point where he no longer needs occupational therapy. And after his evaluation, the therapist said, honestly, I think hockey just did everything that I would have been doing. And then some. He's found something that he loves, that we've all learned to love. I learned to skate because he learned to skate so we can go skating together. I'm actually going to learn to play. And she's got the perfect coach. Oh, what a save by Ozzy. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.